All right, in uh, Guangzhou, China, they banned uh, some African, just call them blacks, um, from the McDonald's restaurants. They've been uh, kicking them out of their hotels, forcing them into quarantine. And now the, you know, uh, COVID-19, the coronavirus, and my Donald Trump voice, the Chinese flu has mystically and magically across the world turned into the black flu. All right, so let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I really ain't followed this story, but they issued an apology today at McDonald's uh, in Gansu, uh, China, and they said they shut down the restaurant and, you know, to, I guess to, you know, to, to bring it up to ethical codes. Um, and they basically told the blacks there that's been coming there for years um, that they couldn't eat there. No black people allowed because they carried the coronavirus, uh, the coronavirus. And the coronavirus started off in uh, China, in the city, I can't remember the name of it, that has the biggest 5G network in the world, okay? And they're already working on 6G, by the way, somewhere in China. So they tell them that they is they basically carrying the flu, and they can't come eat. They kicked them, on the, kicked them out the street, kicked them out of hotels. And the Africans that are there, they've been coming there for years, and they've been trading and, 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 and you know, doing things for barter, I would guess. And, they, you know, and the numbers have dropped because the visas have dropped and they don't want blacks there. You know, what's funny about it is uh, Tom Business, check out his channel, Sports Entertainment. He did a video on a black woman or black congressman. I don't know who she was, to be exact. And she started a hotline for Asian Americans that were uh, facing uh, racial backlash due to the coronavirus, where people was beating them up, saying they had the Chinese flu. And people got on her saying, like, this is a black woman. You already started a 1-800 hotline just for Asian people dealing with racism. What about all the black racism went on? Then she said, well, did she change the hotline for everybody? The damage has been done. You know what I'm saying? Every, you know, and now this story come out, she even look even worse now. You know what I'm saying? People that have been there for years, you know, uh, trading and, 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 and making a living in China, now they, they, they haven't been welcome before this. It's been an issue. They, they say there used to be millions of Africans over there and it's declined over the last few years like it's to the point where after this situation they may not come back and it's and it is a video somebody sent me of you know asian people i can't put a it was a korean or chinese japanese or whatever situation may be they were doing a video saying that how blacks you know how they, they basically it was race racist towards blacks if i can find that video i'll put it in, in the description along with the article under source link or article link and they was basically saying what they thought about blacks. And it was a very, very racist video. They black, they first face out and how they truly felt about blacks. So funny about it is, you know, everybody in the world got a problem with blacks. But all they women want to be with black men. Ain't that crazy? You know, but they issued an apology. I still wouldn't eat there. I wouldn't eat at a McDonald's, Asian McDonald's, a Chinese McDonald's regardless. Some of the stuff they be having. But... You know, they found their place over there in China. I know they can't wait to go back home. But it's funny how the Chinese flu, in my Donald Trump voice, is turned to the black flu. So they issued an apology. I mean, I wouldn't accept the apology unless it's in a financial, uh, you know, form. But they issued an apology. Um, like I said, it's just, you know, it's, it's crazy how this become a, Chine a Chinese epidemic. And all of a sudden, more black people die than anybody. Just let that sink in for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just putting syphilis and vaccines and stuff. And how they, I mean, a lot of people don't, don't know. They're trying to say this may be a mandatory vaccine to put, do this to, put, uh, to make you have a mandatory vaccine and, and put this in your body. Vaccines, you know, it's been a lot of lawsuits over vaccines. When people saying you should vaccinate your kids and, or you shouldn't be allowed to school, well, you need to do your research on, on vaccinations. They have a whole website to show you all the lawsuits that they lost. You know, due to, you know, kids, you know, uh, having Down syndrome and, you know, um, just coming out, you know, retarded. You know, I'm just saying that because I don't know the proper term or, or, or down, you know, all this type of stuff, man. You know, they have mercury in, vac in some of the vaccines. And that's one of the most dangerous, most potent, you know, uh, substances on the planet. So, you know, there's no telling. You probably put chips in the vaccine or whatever. I wouldn't take it, bro. I just... I'll just take my chances, man. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. I put the article link in the description. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to reach out, if you have a business question, quiet response, your video request. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time we go.